Hi, and welcome to my uh, meetup for digital artists. Uh, I'm Joel Bowers, and I've been, uh, since I retired, I've been doing digital artwork for about, well, since 19, uh, uh, since 2016. Uh, and I uh, am pretty prolific, but not really great. Uh, I've got about 7,000 paintings done so far. Uh, but I'm really interested in the apps that do this and in uh, sharing my interest and experience with others. And so I thought I would try and get uh, connected with some of you who might also be interested. And so we can share some of our tools, tick, tips, and, and tricks. Uh, today I'm talking a little bit about uh, one of my favorite apps called Sketchbook Pro, because it's a free app. Uh, and it's really one of the main things that I start with, although I probably use about 10 different apps pretty frequently. I'm gonna share my screen here uh, and uh, show you what it looks like. This is the interface. Uh, it's uh, got a uh, uh, toolbar up here, uh, and it's it has a layers uh, panel, and uh, it has a color color pa changing panel. Uh, this is a similar color changing panel, but what they call a Coptic uh, Coptic colors. Uh, and I, I usually leave the layer panel open all the time. And uh, then it's got a tools panel. Uh, this is the basic tools, it's, but it has a lot of free brushes that you can download. The, 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 the free brushes are, are in, over in this area. Uh, this is the brushes that I've downloaded and there's a ton of brushes that you can choose. Uh, uh, let's say I'm going to do some charcoal or pass some pastel uh, and I'm going to choose a color. So this is, I usually choose my color from this, from this, uh, what they, these call, they call these pucks. So I can change the color, say maybe to a pink uh, of different uh, uh, saturations. And then I can uh, change the width of this uh of this tool, which I've ch chosen currently, using this puck. So right now, that that tool, uh, it can be really big, and then it's pressure sensitive. I always use a uh, uh, pen tablet. Uh, and uh, just I just do a lot of scribbling. So then uh, the the. Uh, there's more details on these pucks I'll get to uh, in some other session. But uh, one of the tools up here are really cool. I can do a select with this uh, application to say, well, select everything that's sort of this color, or this is unselect, and uh, maybe select everything that's sort of this color. So it just changes that little area. And then you can paint bucket to fill with a uh, gradient of various types. So I'm gonna choose a gradient pattern like that uh, and just and fill this little area with that uh, kind of gradient, which I think is really a cool feature I use a lot. Uh, then I'm going to uh, uh, unselect and show you that you, you've got some wonderful ways of transforming so you can just move this around a little bit uh, but uh, oops, I'm still in the in the I still have that one thing selected so I've got to go back and uh, I'm going to uh, move this this thing a little bit uh, I can either scale it by uh, using this tool I can rotate it uh, scale it, I can stretch it uh, horizontally, or I can stretch it vertically. This is just totally awesome. Uh, and then I can say, well, that's good, I'll, I'll live with that. Then let me just say, well, I want another copy of this. So I'm gonna duplicate that this layer, 
And then the next layer, I'm going to uh, do something else with. I'm going to take it and move it uh, here. And I'm going to kind of uh, change change the way it, I'm going to warp it so that it looks different. And uh, I'll say that that's good. Uh, the uh, so that's just some of the tools. Uh, let's see, I've covered, and then I can crop this. So, so I really, if I wanted to just have a painting of this size, uh, that would crop it. Uh, and I usually go to the to adjust the the size of it. Uh, uh, let's see, where is that? Image, image size, and I try and make sure that I'm at 300 DPI. For screen, uh, your 70, it, it, 72 is great because that's as good as the most screens will be able to reproduce. But for printing, you want to have at least 300 DPI uh, so you can change things in this panel. Uh, and so I'm done with cropping. Uh, and it's got some abilities to use a, a straight edge ruler so that you can uh, draw a line along here. I'll put in a new uh, new layer and I'm going to select a pencil and go to a uh, smaller version in a different color. Uh, and so then I can try and draw draw here but it doesn't work and it just really draws along this ruler line and you can rearrange that line however you want. Uh, so that's cool. And it does a perspective thing. So if I want to do a perspective drawing, uh, it, it's, uh, th it ha this one, this choice is a, is a single vanishing point. Uh, but you can also choose uh, a, uh, I mean, it's, that's a double vanishing point. You can choose a single vanishing point. And so that all lines kind of start from wherever you put this. And so everything is going to go uh, as a uh, as a perspective from that single point. So that's cool. And then another, uh, let me just hide these. You can hide layers and you can merge layers. So let's say I wanted to merge these two layers so that they're just one. You just say merge these. And so now uh, that's there's only one layer and uh, I'm going to add uh, a uh, another layer with this plus symbol up here, and I'm going to uh, show you this symmetry thing. So you can paint uh, symmetrically. So whatever you uh, let's hide this. So so whatever you draw on this side is repeated on that side. And if you want to do this uh, more than uh, more than horizontally, I'm going to choose vertically as well. So now it's going to choose to do it that way. And if I want more than just four segments, I can choose a lot of segments. And uh, so it builds really kind of cool patterns. Uh, so that's a neat, neat tool. I'm going to do another layer here. So. Uh, a cool thing is this uh, steady stroke so that uh, it uh, tends to try and smooth out uh, the stroke. And this one is even, uh, this one's called predictive stroke. So this one's trying to determine where you want to go. So it's instead of uh, just scribbling, it tends to control it a little bit. And then if you want to just do boxes or circles or ovals or connected lines. Uh, it, you have the, these linear tools. This hides and shows the, the, uh, the tool panel. And I don't use these tools down here in the left-hand corner very much, but they uh, they give you a quick way of, of going to the previous brush that you just used 
or to to some of these things if you have a hidden tool panel and you want to slip, uh, switch to the eraser you go down here and then you have an eraser uh, so that's just a, a real quick uh, introduction to to uh, this application and uh, uh, so uh, I'm gonna stop now and, and just uh, ask if anybody else has anything that they want to share uh, thanks for watching.